Hey everybody on uh, YouTube. Glad to have you this evening. We are uh, just a couple of minutes away from the pregame festivities. But um, Scott and I are here ready to roll. Glad to have you. Thanks for tuning in. Should be a dandy ball game. People have asked me who do I think is going to win. And truthfully, truthfully, it could go either way. These are two... Two uh, teams that uh, yeah, could walk away from this with a win, but uh, we appreciate you tuning in. So we're going to get into the game here coming up in just a few minutes. All right, national anthem. All right, good evening everybody. Thank you for tuning in for our first live stream only, Scott Hudson, and since Carterville Lions get knocked out last night, we're doing some other, some add-on games, as it were. Yeah, and I, th I hope everybody that's watching tonight and listening tonight enjoyed, because we're enjoying bringing it to you, and we should have a dandy of a ball game here. Marion and Benton, Marion kind of had a roller coaster type season like Carterville did, Benton, 20, what, seven wins on the season, and they hit <laughs> end up getting the four seed in the Class 3A Regional. So uh, these two teams are very talented. This should be a good ball game. 28-2, and two, the Benton Rangers, the number six team in Class 3A. And Marion uh, comes into this game 16-12 and 12 on, the season, on the season. But two very talented teams. And um, I tell you what, the, we played uh, Benson there, I don't know, probably, what, uh, three weeks ago. And uh, they are just a hot shooting outside team. That's their strength. And Marion, the strength of their team, not only are they talented, but they're deep. They go 10, 11, 12 players deep uh, in a game. Yeah, Marion's got the size advantage on Benton. As you talked about Marion's depth. Justin Shad Owens, the Marion point guard, one of the best in Southern Illinois. Benton, I've always said they shoot threes like most teams shoot layups. They are deadly from the outside. If they're given any kind of room at all, they will make you pay. That's why I think this game is going to be very good. What a great crowd um, that um, has uh, come to Carterville High School for this game this evening. Benton always travels well. You have Marion from our perch here um, on the left side and just a, a nice crowd. Both the ends starting to fill up and probably one of the biggest crowds for a basketball game here at Carterville High School, actually. <laughs> Benton always travels well. Marion always travels well. Of course, they're just down the road. And uh, you'll probably see at least this size, if not bigger, on Friday night in the championship game. The winner of this gets the Carbondale Terriers on Friday night at 7. Yeah, how about them Carterville Terriers last night? They get the win over the uh, Carterville Lions. And, man, Acree and uh, Bean, they are two beasts. And uh, they know how to put the ball in the hole. 57-42 to 42 was the final score. And uh, so Carbondale gets the night off. They're awaiting the winner of this game. 
And uh, I, I'm just excited. This is going to be this is going to be a good ball game. One of the best probably that in the, for the season in the area. Yeah, I, I agree. These two teams match up well. I think. Of course, like you said, Dave, Marion's got a little bit of the advantage depth-wise and size-wise, but Benton probably has the better shooting team of the two. So this should be this should be one heck of a game, and I'm, I'm I know I'm speaking for you as well, but we're happy to be here bringing it to Looking you. Looking at the starting lineup for the Benton Rangers, uh, they're going to go with six-three senior Tom, Timmy Henson that wears number four, six-foot uh, junior Page Hamil Hamilton Page wears number five, Austin Wills number eleven the senior. Austin got his uh, thousandth point in uh, their, I think it was their last game on senior night at home. Derek Oxford, the 6'1 senior, and then Parker Williams, number 33. So it'll be Henson, Page, Wills, Oxford, and Williams. For the Marion Wildcats, they're going to start the 6'0 senior, Justin Shadowin. Also, number uh, 10, 6'4 freshman, Jackson Connor. They'll also go with 6'2 senior, Jacob Schmidt, junior. Cole Schaefer, number uh, 41, he stands 6'4", and uh, number 43, Terrell Henderson, the 6'5", junior. So starting for the Marion Wildcats, Shadowin, Connor, Schmid, Schaefer, and Henderson. Both teams are on the floor. The officials are ready to go. The crowd is ready to go. Thanks for tuning in here on our YouTube live stream. The semifinal game between the Marion Wildcats and the Benton Rangers as the Rangers control the tip from the get-go. What that is, Timmy Henson. He brings it across midcourt for the uh, Rangers in their home white uniforms, the number four seed in this uh, bracket. Marion has the number five seed over on the, the left wing. That's Henson. Right-hand dribble brings it to the right side. Gives it up to... The, on the left wing into... Austin Wills, shot's no good, but Wills tracks down the rebound, and uh, Benton's going to back it up as it's uh, Timmy Henson down low. They get it in to uh, Oxford, and there's a foul, and Oxford's going to go to the line and shoot. Nope, it's going to be a possession call. Yeah, Oxford got sandwiched between Henderson and Shad Owen. Shad Owen's going to pick up the foul, first foul of the game for either team. So it's Benton basketball, but we have a whistle on the near side. This is the same crew that's worked the previous two nights of this tournament, official-wise. So foul is on uh, number 32. That is Jacob Schmidt. That's his first. That's a second team foul on the uh, Marion Wildcats. Henson brings it near side to Williams. Williams to Austin Wills. His shot no good. Gets the rebound, and they're going to back it out. Down low, they get it to Williams. His shot, no good. Rebound comes off to Schaefer for Marion. On the run, that is Shadowins. He takes it to, to the left side, but it's going to back it out and take it top of the circle. Man-to-man -man pressure by the Benton Rangers. 6.47 on the clock here in the first quarter. No score as the Wildcats are in their road blues. Dump down low. Nice pass, but the shot's blocked. Schaefer with the shot, and the shot was blocked by Timmy Henson. Here come the Rangers. It's Henson over to the left side. The Rangers work it. Now the shot from three from Oxford is good. Derek Oxford is on the board for the Benton Rangers. You give them a couple of feet, that's all they need to hit that outside shot. 3-0 Rangers, 6-15 remaining here in this first quarter. To the right side, Justin Shadows, Shadowins drops it down low to Henderson. They kick it back out top to Shadowins. Brings it near side. They're going to work it to the left. On the left wing. Down low. Nice size. Connor with the in shot in out. No good. Rebound comes off to Henson. Near side. They work it into Parker. He drives the lane. His shot is no good. And it's uh, Henderson with the rebound. Quickly into the front court. The Marion Wildcats. The shot from three for Justin Shadowins. No good. And it's Austin Wills with the rebound. Quickly into the front court. Stepped out of bounds on the side. That's the first turnover, and that belongs to the Benton Rangers. Justin Chad Owens, he's the guy that runs the show for Marion. They've got to hope that he comes out on fire. If, he, if he's able to hit that outside shot, it's going to set things up for Connor Henderson, or Jackson Connor and Henderson on the inside. Justin Shadowns, the six-foot senior, gets it down low. The shot is up, but they're going to say that it was a travel before the shot. 
And the shot was put up by Cole Schaefer. So that turns the ball over to the Benton Rangers. 3-0 Rangers, 5.29 on the clock. A little bit of a feeling out process going on with these two teams right now. Not much flow. Might be some nerves, a little yep. bit of nerves. Big crowd may be the biggest crowd they've played in front of all season. As uh, the shot from uh, Oxford is good, Derek Oxford has all five of the Benton Rangers points here with 5.05 left in the opening quarter. Marion basketball, it is Shadowlands. Left-hand drive, kicks out. Left wing, shot off the front of the iron. That shot put up by uh, Jackson Connor, no good. Lead pass for the Rangers is off the hands of uh, Parker Williams. Turnover on the Rangers. Just trying to do a little bit too much, trying to force the issue. Marion, cold from the field. One turnover and 0 for 4 shooting. Thanks to everybody here on YouTube watching the game tonight. Appreciate you tuning in. Steve McKenzie and uh, Scott Hudson, and the ball's tipped out of bounds. It's going to belong to the Marion Wildcats. 4.43 on the clock. It's all Benton Rangers so far, 5-0, but like Scott said, just uh, a feeling out process. Kind of see what, what's going to be given to you. The shot is put up and just flung into uh, the bucket. Connor Jackson Connor gets the, the bucket for Marion. Yeah, and he's only a freshman, very talented. He is... Uh, a big one, too. A six-foot-four freshman for the Wildcats. Benton basketball. Shot from three is good by Oxford. He's got eight, all eight of the points for the Benton Rangers. Eight to two, six-point lead, 4-14 on the clock. Jackson Connor, his shot no good. The rebound comes off to Timmy Henson of the Rangers. Across midcourt, works to the right side. Oxford's going to fire from three. He's feeling it. Boom! And Marion needs a timeout. Yes, they do. It is 11 to 2. The Benton Rangers over these Marion Wildcats with 4:02 left here in the first quarter. Wow, he he had his Wheaties today. As I said, he's not the only one on this Benton team that can shoot like that. They got Paige. You got Win, who will come off the bench, who's a very good shooter. You cannot give them any extra room to square up and shoot the basketball. Austin Wills is another one, and he hadn't even had to shoot yet. No, but let's let's give credit to Benton's defense as well. Marion has not gotten many good looks. They've rushed a couple of shots, and Benton's the smaller team, but even when Marion's got it inside, they've had a tough time scoring against the smaller Rangers team. So it's the Marion Wildcats basketball. They're down uh, nine here early, 356 on this uh, first quarter clock. They work it down low to Henderson. Loses the handle, needs some help, and he turns it over once again. I've got him for two, Scott. That's what I got. Here come the Rangers with the basketball. Derek Oxford, who has uh, all 11 of the points for the Benton Rangers. They work it from the left side. That's Oxford with the basketball. Now back to the left. A little give and go to Henson. He uh, fakes it to uh, Oxford. Now Wills is going to fire from three off the front of the iron. No good. And Jackson Connor with the rebound. Shadowins lead pass out to Schaefer. His layup is blocked. The Rangers are coming the other way as they uh, work it to Gary Gwynn, who just checked into the range for the Rangers. The ball's tipped out of bounds, and they're going to say it was off of the Rangers. That is the third turnover on the Benton Rangers. Yeah, Benton. That's the only thing they've done wrong in this game so far. Great defense, two block shots. They're the smaller team. And Oxford has just come out on fire. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Marion basketball, 11-2, a nine-point lead for the Rangers here in this regional semifinal game. The winner will go on to take on the Carbondale Terriers on uh, Friday night. There was a whistle and a foul. Ch Justin Chatelain uh, took the shot. And a kind of a late whistle, but he's going to go to the line. He's going to shoot two. Yeah, I think they're going to call a win for the foul. Shad Owens is a type of player. He's kind of like an Oxford. He can take over a game at any point. And he struggled shooting the ball, as, as have all the Wildcats at this point. Shad Owens makes his first free throw. That is uh, his first point of the game. 11-3. to three. The Rangers with the lead here. 250 remaining in this first quarter. Good crowd for this game tonight. Highly anticipated matchup between these two teams. 
Justin Shadowins hits both free throws, so it's an 11-4 Ranger lead. Rangers with the basketball. Henson to the free throw line, kick out, pass to win. He fires from three off the iron. Oxford with the rebound, fights it with Jackson Connor, and uh, Marion comes away with it, but Marion turns it over. Benton has the basketball now, as it is... Um, Caden Thomas into the game for the Rangers. Wide open for three. Parker Williams in, out, no good. Rebound put back by uh, Henson. Rangers from a three, long, no. Ball is tipped around once again. It's on the floor and a behind through the leg pass out front to Derek Oxford. And the Rangers control. Oh, my. Benton can do no wrong in this game so far. So far, everything is going in. That fires up the Benton Ranger crowd. They're on their feet. The drive by Cade Thomas down low. The shot by Williams is blocked. But on the outlet pass, the Rangers pick it off and it's thrown away and it's going to belong to the Marion Wildcats. How many turnovers now? <laughs> well, I've got five for Benton, four yeah, for Marion. That's what I've got. I mean, this is this has kind of gone from feel, a feeling out process to helter-skelter. Let's yeah. go out to the, uh, <laughs> to the parking lot and play. Yep, as it's uh, Shadowins behind the back, top of the circle for the Rangers. Hands off to Nick Williams. Williams over to Shadowins on the right wing. 134 left. Shadowins drives the baseline, kick out pass to Schmidt. The shot from Jackson Connor, no good. And it's Tim Timmy Henson with the rebound. He's got several rebounds already He's in this got game. He's six already. Holy cow, the drive by Garrett Gwynn. The shot up, no good. And the rebounds by Shadowins. Things are getting pretty physical now. Um, by both teams as uh, Shadowins went up to get the rebound. And Garrett Gwynn comes down on top of him. Foul is on Gary Gwynn of the Rangers. That's his second foul. That's going to be the second team foul. Both teams have two fouls. 118. It's an 11 4 lead for the Rangers. Wildcats basketball. Very impressed with the way Benton has come out on both ends of the floor. Offensively, they've hit from the outside. Now they've tried to work the ball on the inside. Defensively, they have really got Marion confused. Marion's taken some quick, bad shots. And that's one reason Marion, at this point, only has one field goal in the game. And the one thing on Marion trying to get that outlet pass to get running, Benton's doing a nice job filling the, the passing lanes yep. and getting in, in the way of that. As it's Marion basketball once again, the pass is tipped away. But it's going to belong to the Marion Wildcats. Marion has the decided height advantage, but Benton is so quick. All their players are so quick that the taller Wildcats are having a little bit of problems staying up with them. Marion basketball, they get it down low to Henderson. His right-hand layup is good. Terrell Henderson, the 6'5 junior on the board for the Wildcats. In the front court, Benton basketball. Austin Wills drives, head fake, his shot, and there's a whistle and a foul. And the foul is going to be on uh, Jacob Schmidt of Marion his second, and that will be the third team foul on the Wildcats. They're so good at shooting the basketball on the outside, talking about Benton, that if they just give you a head fake, the defenders want to come out and try to block the shot. That's when the Benton player will pull the ball down and drive right by you. The outlet pass is thrown into the backcourt, but it's run down by Benton's Cade Thomas. Where's number three? The 5'9 junior for the Benton Rangers. They work it around. The perimeter, Thomas with the basketball, kick out, pass to Henson. He fires from three. It's good for Timmy Henson. He's on the board. He's got the rebounds, but now he's getting some points. Their offense will run a defense ragged. 15 seconds on the clock, 14-6. The what Rangers lead with the basketball. Nick Williams down low to Henderson, backs his man down. The shot is up, gets the whistle and the foul. Excuse me, that is not uh, Henderson, that is Johnson. Justin Johnson with the with the bucket. And he's going to be at the line shooting one. The foul is on uh, Parker Williams. And the free throw from Johnson is good. So it's 14 to 9, one second left. The shot, a whistle before the buzzer. A yeah, foul. So, going to go to the line and shoot. That is going to be Parker Williams as the foul is on the Marion Wildcats. 
It's going to be on number 10. That is uh, Jackson Connor, his first. And the fourth team foul. So it's Parker Williams at the line shooting free throws. Makes the first. 15 to 9. Granger lead. Can he push it to 16? He can and does. That's the end of the first quarter. It is 16 to 9. The Benton Rangers over the Marion Wildcats. Second quarter action is on the way. Both teams are back out on the floor for second quarter action. 16 to 9, Scott. Benton all over Marion. Well, Marion just can't get anything going offensively. I think what Marion's going to have to do to get back into this game is they're going to have to go inside and use that. That's their strength and possibly get Benton in foul trouble. Marion was finally able to get a little bit of something going there toward the end of the second quarter. They work it down low. That is Johnson. There's a whistle and a foul. Well, no, they're saying they a travel. travel. A turnover on uh, Marion. I've got him for five. That's what I've got. <clears throat> Benton, Dave, is kind of like, if you have been in a screened-in uh, porch and there's one mosquito in there and you just chase it all night long, you can never <laughs> catch it, that's what it's like trying to guard these Benton Rangers. <laughs> I can see that. I can absolutely see that. They get the ball to Austin Wills, right wing. He takes it across the top. They work it left side as it's a three ball from Derek Oxford. No good, but the rebound comes off to Williams. And the whistle. The officials are looking at each other. Nobody knows. They're going to say, well, we'll just give it to the Benton Rangers. Yeah. It's like I didn't see it. You didn't see it. So we'll just keep it with the team that had the ball. So it's going to belong to the Benton Rangers. Derek Oxford will trigger the inbound on the sideline. Take a look on the, the streamer. You can see a nice crowd here for this game this evening. And we appreciate you tuning in and watching our, li our YouTube live stream this evening. It's Dave McKenzie with Scott Hudson. The drive by Kate Thomas. He kicks it back out. Top that is Parker Williams drives. His shot is blocked by two people. I think it was Schaefer and one other may have been uh, Jackson Connor that got a hand on it. Marion into the front court. That's a turnover on the Benton Rangers. And uh, the shot was good. I didn't see it. Uh, Connor Jackson in the paint. Or Jackson he's, Connor, excuse me. He's got two. 16 to 11. Now a five-point game. Marion's done a nice job clawing back into this. Yeah, Marion's hit their last three shots in the field. Marion only was three out of 12 in the first quarter. Bitten five of 13, but they had four threes in that first quarter. 16 to 11, just underway here in the second quarter. Benton basketball. Timmy Henson out front gets instructions from Coach Ron Wine Miller of the Rangers. Couple of uh, substitutes into the game. Uh, Blaine Panky is in the game. A drive by Henson left for Panky. He backs it out. Back to Henson at the free throw line. Wide open for three is good as uh, the shot from Gary Gwynn finds the bottom of the net. Five threes already for Benton. They live and die by the three. Well, when you got 28 wins, they're doing a lot of living this year. It's 19 to 11. Rangers with the eight point lead. 6-18. Here in the first half remaining with the basketball, Nick Williams. They work it left side to Schaefer. Down low, turnaround jumper from Jackson Connor. No good. Panky has the ball go off of him. Uh, it's going to belong to the Marion Wildcats. That's a couple of shots inside 
five feet that Marion has missed. Connor's missed a couple of him, a couple of them himself. Sometimes you think you're going to feel contacted, and you, it's not there. And and you adjust your shot when you don't really need to. Yep, exactly. With the basketball, Shadowins drives man. Whistle and a foul. That's going to be on Austin Wills, and he's like, really? <laughs> that. I think I think that would have been a good no call. I think Chad Owens going to the lane. I think he initiated the contact, but four team fouls on the Rangers as Chad Owens misses that free throw. He's got one more coming to him. 6.03 remaining here in the first half. Second. No good. Big rebound, though, by Henderson. And we got a whistle and a foul. It's going to be a foul on the bit. I think Rangers. on Panky, I believe. Yeah, I think so as well. And Dave, here's another stat, a little bit of a stat you probably wouldn't think you'd hear in this game. Benton has six offensive rebounds. That was the first offensive rebound by Marion, and they're the bigger team. Wow. Shadowins just fires from three, deep three for Justin Shadowins. Nice shot. If he gets going, look out. Five-point game, 19-14, 5-45 remaining here in the second quarter. Benton basketball in the home white this evening. With it, they work it around to the left side. That is Oxford. Oxford right-hand dribble. Runs into the double team. Now it's over to Wills, who just fires from three. He hits nothing but the bottom of the net for the Benton Rangers. We have a timeout on the floor. It is called by Coach Ron Weinmiller of the Benton Rangers. 22 to 14, 5.30 left here in the first half. Both teams back, back out on the floor. Thank you for tuning in on the YouTube channel this evening. We appreciate it. Dave McKenzie with Scott Hudson. 22 to 14, 526 left here in the ball game. The three from Shadow is off the back of the iron. Uh, no good, uh, but uh, rebound by uh, Timmy Henson. I think they're going to say it hit the scoreboard above the backboard. So Marion has shot the ball pretty well. Four of their last six have gone in, but Benton... Benton, anytime you Marion's got a little bit of momentum, they just come down and hit a three and just suck the momentum right out of Marion. Austin Wills is starting to heat it up for the uh, the Rangers. He got his first three. Doesn't take much to get him going. Panky with the basketball. Leaves it for Henson. He's guarded by Jackson Connor. Henson drives into the lane. Left hand layup. No good. Panky with the rebound. It goes out of bounds. And they're going to say it belongs to the Benton Rangers. Coach David Brown of the Marion Wildcats goes to the other official and says... Please help. It went off his leg. I don't like the call. Well, right now, Marion's getting beat badly on the boards. No way Marion, with a size advantage, should be giving up seven offensive rebounds already. Ranger basketball. Oxford drives. Right-hand floater. No good. Jackson Connor with the rebound, but his outlet pass is picked off by Timmy Henson. Another turnover by the Marion Wildcats. They're going to have to figure out the passing lanes. They want to get anything going the other way. Well, Marion's trying to get the outlet pass to the wing and then go quickly. To, well, yes. Benton's got it figured out that that's what Marion wants to do, so they're just stepping in the passing lanes. Henson has it for the Rangers. 435 remaining in the game, 22 to 14. It's the Ranger lead, an eight-point lead here at the Carterville Regional. With the basketball, Gary Gwynn to Henson. Hints in the left-hand dribble across the top of the key. Drives the left side. We've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, I think Marion. it's going to be a screen. Yeah, illegal screen on somebody for Benton. That is their no, that's sixth. No, a foul. Yeah, it's, they're going to yeah, call. one four. Yeah. Both teams now have six turnovers in the game. Derek Oxford has called for the foul for the Rangers. So it's Marion basketball. That's a turnover on Benton with the foul. 
They get it down low. Jackson Connor on the left block. To Shadowins, back to Connor. Spin move from the block. Shot up, no good. Rebound. Timmy Henson once again. Man, he is a monster on the boards here tonight. Quickly into the front court. It is Oxford. Gives it to Wills. His shot is good from three. Austin Wills has six for the Rangers. Seven threes in this first half. Unbelievable. 25-14. Rangers with the 11-point lead. They get it down low to Henderson. His shot up, no good. And the rebound comes off to the Rangers. Here comes Henson. Lead pass to um, Wills. He had an open shot. Pass it up. They're going to work it back to Henson between the circles. They work it near side to Williams. Williams down low. Wide open. Gary Gwynn misses the bunny. And it's Jackson Connor with the, with the rebound. Shadowing into the front court for Marion. A whistle and a turnover. A foul. I think they're going to call on Henderson, Henderson, the big man. Well, that's number seven for Marion. And Dave, I, I can tell you why Wynn missed a layup. They're not used to shooting layups. And they got you, yeah, they he, shoot from he the should have right. just pulled it back out, shot the three, probably would have gone in. Got behind the three-point line yeah. and just launched it. Yeah. <laughs> too Some teams get too close to the basket. <laughs> I never had that issue. No, I didn't either. <laughs> 25 to 14. Three minutes left here in the first half. Benson with the basketball. Henson, top of the key. Hands off to Hamilton Page. Over to the left side, Wills fires from three off the iron, no good. Rebound comes off to Justin Shadowins. On the run, he's hit and a whistle and a foul. And the foul is going to be on Hamilton Page. One thing this Benton team will do to you, they will wear you out defensively. There is so much movement on every possession. Everybody from Marion is having to move, having to chase. That may not have an effect right now, but in the third or fourth quarter, when you're trying to make a comeback, if you're behind, those legs are going to feel like rubber. Shadowins has his uh, first free throw fall. He's got six points in the game. 25-15, a 10-point lead. The second is good by Shadowins. Two thirty-five. Benson with the basketball. Into Hamilton Page. Over to Henson on the right wing. Left-hand dribble, takes it back out top. Going to reset the offense for the Rangers. Henson takes it to the right corner, drops it down low. That is uh, Williams. Kick out pass to Oxford. Fires from three off the iron, no good. Shadowins tracks it down. He's on the run. Lead pass to uh, Johnson, and he is called with the charge as he put his back into the defender. And Johnson has his first foul of the game, the seventh team foul on the Marion Wildcats. And Oxford's the one that took the charge. Oxford is doing everything in this game for Benton. He even cooked the pregame meal. Yes, he did. Everything. Drove the bus. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And I think I'm going to have him do my taxes after the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything will end in three. We know that. Austin Wills gets the rebound. His putback no good. Ball is tipped around. And it's Johnson with the outlet pass to Shadowin. He takes it right to the rack. The right-hand layup is good by Justin Shadowin. Seven points here in this second quarter. Benton with the basketball. Wills has it. They kick out pass to Oxford. Back to Wills. Who fires from three? Boom! <laughs> Austin Wills. Nine points in the second quarter alone. 28-18, a 10-point Ranger lead. Shadowins, top of the circle, tries to get it down low to uh, Johnson. The pass is tipped away. That's another turnover on the, ring, on the Wildcats. 1-10 remaining in the first half. 28-18, Henson gives it to Williams, Parker Williams, then hands off to Austin Wills. Fakes the three, backs it out, gives it to Henson. Under a minute to go here in the half. Henson gets the pick from Wills, hands it off to Oxford. Oxford to Austin Wills, who got his thousandth point in uh, his uh, last game at home, I believe. Looks like the Rangers going to hold for the last shot. They're just working the perimeter. Timmy Henson wears number four, runs the offense for this Benton Ranger team. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. The fans start to get up on their feet. And because Benton has good ball handlers, all five, 
they can play this style of game. Some teams cannot handle the pressure, but Benton's, Benton can. They'll probably move with about 10 seconds left. Coach Ryan, Ron Weinmiller says go. 10 seconds on the clock. Who's going to shoot it? I think it's probably going to be Henson. Now he kicks it off to Oxford. Three ball, good! At the buzzer, 31. 18, the Benton Rangers with a big lead on the Marion Wildcats. It's halftime here of this Class 3A Regional Semifinal game. We'll be back with uh, halftime news and notes coming up next here on our YouTube channel at the Carterville Regional. It's halftime here at, at this uh, semifinal game between the Benton Rangers and uh, the Marion Wildcats and Scott Hudson. It is all, all Benton Rangers here so far in this first half. It's unbelievable. We talked about it in the pregame, how they shoot threes like some teams shoot layups. In that first half, Benton had nine threes. Amazingly, Benton only shot 37% from the field. But when you make nine threes, that kind of makes up yeah. for those misses. Yeah, it does. Marion only shot 32% in the first half. They only had one three. Benton, the smaller team, out-rebounded Marion 17-12. to 12. Timmy Henson with eight rebounds for the Benton yeah. Rangers. Connor, uh, Jackson Connor led Marion with four. Six turnovers for Benton, nine for Marion. Another key stat in that first half, Benton had eight offensive rebounds to Marion's one. And if Marion's going to get back into this ball game, besides playing better defense, they're going to have to dominate on the boards. And Derek Oxford and Austin Wills are unconscious for the Benton Rangers. Man, they just have no fear let it, launching that three ball as uh, Derek Oxford leads all scores. He's got 14 points. Austin Wills has nine. All nine came in the second quarter on three threes. You have uh, Gary Gwynn that has three. Timmy Henson, he's got uh, three. He's got three points, but how many rebounds did you say? It's uh, You talk about Henson? Henson. He has eight rebounds here in the first half. Wow. And then you have Parker Williams that has uh, two points. If you look at the scoring for the Marion Wildcats, they're led 
by uh, Justin Shadowins, who has uh, nine points. It's uh, Connor Jackson. He's got four. Uh, Cheryl Henderson has two. And Justin Johnson has three. And that accounts for the 18 points from the Marion Wildcats and the Benton Rangers. And this is exactly, you know, the Benton Rangers, they live and die by that three ball. That is, but fortunate for them, they've hit them all season long. They haven't had those games where right. they had the cold, you know, like we saw from Carterville last night where the shots that they took last night in that loss to Carbondale were the same exact shots that they hit against Massac County the night before. It was just, they just didn't fall. Ben has come out on fire, and, you know, you, you have 28 wins on the season, and you really don't have a true big man. You have to shoot the ball well from the outside, and that's exactly what Benton has done. Marion, there was, I mean, you could run down the list of things they did wrong in the first half. We talked about not playing very good defense. We talked about getting out-rebounded. The other thing is they missed some bunnies on the inside. They rushed, rushed shots on the inside that if they'd taken their time, they had the size advantage. If they would just turn square up and kiss it off the glass, you know, this game would be a lot closer than it is. So Marion's got a lot of things to work on to get back in this ball game. And I'm sure Coach David Brown in the locker room talking over those things. I had them for seven turnovers, the Marion Wildcats. I, I had them I had them for, actually I had them for nine. Okay. They, they had a couple there late in that second yeah, they quarter. Did. Six for Benton. And, and Benton turned the ball over. They had some miscues as well. But the problem is there were a couple of times where Marion would get a big basket. And then Benton would come down and hit a big three. Shad Owens hit the only three of the of the half for Benton in that second quarter. Boom, Wills comes down, answers that with a three. So any momentum, any time Marion looked like they were going to get the momentum back within a within seconds, literally seconds, Benton would snatch it right back. Well, and Benton, the I think the the most impressive thing about the Benton Rangers in that first half, you can see Marion on a miss, on a Benton miss, they want to get out in transition. They want to run, they want to push the tempo. But uh, as we mentioned, the, the Benton Rangers are filling the passing lanes, knocking down that outlet pass, and then coming right back and either getting the bucket or the big three. And uh, you, you, you want to talk about neither one of us keep points off turnovers. We talk about it all season long. But that's a huge stat. And Benton, I, I would have to say, off of the uh, nine turnovers, they probably got 10, 12 points, uh, points off turnovers now, in that first half. And the other thing, when Benton would miss a shot, they were the aggressors on the boards. Marion yes. would stand around and watch. And when you're the bigger team, I mean, it's, it's frustrating as a coach to get outworked on the boards. But it makes you want to just, you know, I would say pull your hair out, but Dave Brown doesn't have any. <laughs> but it, it, honestly, it makes you want to pull your hair out when you are the bigger, more physical team and you're getting out rebounded so badly by a team that just wants it more than you do. Absolutely. Should be a dandy second half, though. We'll see if Marion is able to get back in this game. They're down 31-18 to 18 here at the half, about two minutes left before we tip things off again, and we'll get things going coming up in just a couple of minutes.
All right, we're ready for second core or second half action here. Thank you to everybody on YouTube this evening. It's a pleasure to bring you the game and uh, hope you enjoy it. And um, coming down to the uh, second half here, uh, the winner advances on to take on the Carbondale Terriers on Friday night for the regional championship. With the basketball, the Benton Rangers have possession. Austin Wills just turns around, fires from three, off the iron, no good. Rebound comes off to uh, Terrell Henderson. Marion moving left to right in the visiting road uniforms is Shadow and he takes it to the rack and uh, gets uh, the whistle on the foul. Misses the shot, will go to the line. Nope, they're gonna say it was a possession foul. The foul was on. Hamilton Page, his second first team foul here in the second half. Marion basketball down low to Henderson. His turnaround layup is good. That's what Marion's got to do to get back in this game. Yes, get it, it is. Get it to the bigs and let him square up and score. Put it to where he doesn't have to put it on the floor as well. Right. Just turn around and, and just take it home. Benton Rangers with the basketball. Henson left side works it to Oxford. Down low, they get it. Down low, they get it to Williams, and his shot is in and out. No good. Jackson Connor with the rebound for the Wildcats. Here comes Shadowin to the right side. Leaves it for Henderson. His left-hand layup is blocked from behind by Williams, and it's a turnover on the Marion Wildcats. Quickly, they work it in. They find that back door cut, but the ball's on the floor, but controlled by the Rangers. Tim Henson, Timmy Henson, wears number four, controls the offense for the Benton Rangers. 11 point lead, 31 to 20, 630 left here in the third quarter. Swing pass wide, open to Henson, backs it up, takes it back to the right side, down low, the no look pass is tipped away, and it's a turnover on the Rangers, quickly into the front court. Ball is out of bounds, it's gonna belong to the boys in blue. Even when Benton misses and or turns the ball over, they're so quick back down the floor that Marion can't get that three-on-two, two-on-one break they would like. Shadowns drives the lane, kicks it back out. We have a whistle and a foul, but he, no, not a foul, but a travel. Another turnover that's two on the Wildcats here early in this second half. You just cannot give Benton extra opportunities when you're down by 11 points. Benton basketball, they've got the 11-point lead here in the third quarter. Henson fires from three off the iron, no good. Rebound comes off to Hamilton Page. Wide open for three. Page's shot is blocked by Terrell Henderson. Out of bounds, it's going to belong to the Rangers. The Rangers in the second quarter went 0 for 5 at one point. First quarter, they went 0 for 4 from the field. They've started the third 0 for 4, so they, you know, they have not shot the ball well as far as percentage, but the threes make up for that. Derek Oxford takes the inbound pass from Henson. They work it to the right side. Wills to Oxford. Now they get it to Williams. Back to Oxford. Back to Williams. Left side wide open. Hamilton Page but he brings the pass back to Williams. They work it to the right side. Oxford over to Wills. He's guarded by Shadowin. Down low they get it to Henson. Nice back door cut to Hamilton Page. Nice Nice job working that ball around for the Rangers. Well, Marion went to a zone, and I really think that plays into Benton's hands because they can just move the ball around at will. Absolutely. Marion has the basketball. Shadow and fires from three off the iron. No good. Rebound comes off to Parker Williams. Outlet pass wide open to Wills. Fires from three. Wow! He missed his first three of the third quarter. But he didn't miss his second. Austin Wills. No fear Wills with the shot. Marion has the basketball. Little 18-foot uh, jumper. No good. Uh, Jackson Connor gets the rebound and turns it over. That's the third here in the second half. Austin Wills controls and gets the ball back to Tim Hansen. 440 remaining in the third quarter. A 16-point Ranger lead. 2-3 zone by the Marion Wildcats. Austin Wills to the right side, behind the back, drives, drops it down low. The pass goes out of bounds. That's gonna be a turnover. Nice idea, just didn't work out for Austin Wills and the Rangers. Yeah, they've had, had success with that play earlier. Just didn't work that time. They do look for that cut, man, when they, they work that baseline well. 
And uh, if you uh, drop off on them just a little bit or get lose them, they will burn you. As the three ball's no good, Jackson Connor gets the rebound and the putback for the Marion Wildcats. Connor's got two offensive rebounds in this third quarter. 22 points by the Wildcats compared to the 36 for the Benton Rangers. Jimmy Hansen hands it off to Austin Wills. They work it to uh, Oxford toward the right wing. Pass into Henson, backs his man down. His shot is blocked by, I believe that is uh, Schaefer. The shot is up and good by Williams. By Williams from the Benton Rangers. 38 22. Shot is good scores. by Henderson. Benton on the break. They get it to Page. He travels. He's shuffled his feet. That's another turnover, the third on the Rangers here in the second half. This is where Marion's got to make their run. Only 335 left the third. You're down by 14. You've got to try to cut this lead to single digits before the end of the uh, quarter. Outlet pass comes to Jackson Connor. His shot is blocked by Henson, and he gets the ball. And he gets the outlet pass to Wills. Wills to the right side. Back to Timmy Henson. Another turnover on the Marion Wildcats. Four here in the second half. The Rangers, the home team, the number four seed in this bracket. Thought they should have had a higher seed. As a turnover on the Rangers, Connor Jackson, Jackson Connor rather has the ball, gets it to Schmidt. He fires from about 16, no good. Hits it in the rebound. Rangers with the ball. I thought Benton, a number four seed, was a little low for the Rangers. They're 28 and two on the season. I thought. I, they probably should be a number two seed, in my opinion, if they were going to give the number one to Carbondale. Yeah, I, I think so as well. And I think part of it is, you know, Benton's a smaller school compared to a lot of the schools in this 3A uh, regional sectional complex with teams like Marion, Mount Vernon, Centralia. But Benton, really, I think they came in here with a chip on their shoulder saying, look, you think we're only the fourth best team in this? We'll show you otherwise. Right. So far, they're making a point. Well, you know, and then... Uh, of course, last night you saw Pinckneyville got knocked off by Nashville in that 2A sectional game. You kind of think that under the old system, what would Benton be able to do yeah. in, a, in a 2A? They Because they are, a, they are a very good ball team. Austin Wills, as the basketball gets it over to Cade Thomas. Now it's to win. Now to Henson, finds that cutting Austin Wills, and he lays it home. He's got five points here in this third quarter. Benton really starting to take control, 40-24, to 24, a 16-point lead. I think that's the biggest lead of the game so far. And a turnover on the Marion Wildcats, the fifth. On the run, they're going to back it out, the Rangers do. That is uh, Wynn that gets fouled. He's fouled by Nick Williams. That's his first. That is the second team foul on Marion. You can start to see a little bit of frustration on the Marion Wildcats. No question. And again, with the way Benton moves the ball, they force Marion to run and chase the entire possession. And that will wear a team down. Absolutely. But Coach Dave Brown, he can go 8, 9, 10, even 11 or 12 deep if he so chooses is the layup that's uh, no good by Oxford the ball is on the floor and it comes off to the Marion Wildcats quickly with the ball Nick Williams into the front court to shadow him he takes it down the right baseline and wants to throw the outlet pass just out of control throws it to the crowd on the far side that's another turnover on the Marion Wildcats and we have a timeout that is called by head coach David Brown and uh, it is going to be a full timeout. 40 to 24 with a minute 30 left here in the third.
So a minute 30 remaining in this uh, third quarter, 40 to 24, 16 point lead, the biggest lead of the game for the Benton Rangers. And it's Rangers basketball. They get it in to Cade Thomas, breaks the press. They're gonna back it up, kind of make, make you wonder if they're gonna hold, try and hold for the last shot. Well, they, there's, there's no need to rush a shot here, but if they've got a wide open three, I guarantee you they'll take it. Uh, you, can, you can absolutely bet. As it's uh, the Rangers basketball, deep three from Gary Quinn. Man, he was almost at midcourt when he launched that. On the run, here come the Wildcats. The layup is good by Justin Sonoris, who gets into the game for the first time. He gets the bucket and the foul. Yep, that's the one of the few times tonight that Marion has actually got the ball, taken it up the floor quickly, and was able to score off of a fast break. The foul is on Timmy Henson, and the free throw by Sidoris is no good. So under a minute to go, Benton basketball. Henson's uh, guarded by Shadowen. They work it to Oxford. Shadowen picks him up on the switch. Now to Cade Thomas. Thomas, he's guarded by Nick Williams. A push-off, but not called. Henson has it. Benton really starting, or excuse me, Marion starting to pick up the aggressive, aggressiveness defensively. 30 seconds left, <coughs> excuse me, in the third quarter. That is Gary Gwynn. Works it around toward the right side. 22 seconds remaining. Gets the pick from Williams, breaks through the pick. Now they get it to Timmy Henson. 15 seconds for the Rangers. The ball is tipped, and it's controlled by Henson. Down low, the shot put up by Gary Gwynn. No good, but he's fouled and is going to go to the line and shoot free throws. Just a great hustle play by Benton. A nice play by Jackson Connor on the sideline to knock the ball loose. A couple players go for it. Benton comes up with it. They have gotten every loose ball tonight. They've gotten every rebound, or so it seems. Gehring's win first free throw is good. 41, 26, <coughs> excuse me. Eight seconds left here in the third quarter. At the line, Gary Gwynn, the second free throw, is off the back of the iron. The rebound comes off to the Wildcats, Jacob Schmidt. Quickly into the front court, four seconds on the clock. Schmidt or Shadow and leaves it down low. Jackson Connor misses the first shot, gets the tip in for the Wildcats. He's got four here in the third quarter. We end the third quarter, 41 to 28. We're heading to the fourth. The winner advances on to the championship game of the regional. And the fourth quarter is next. Back underway in the fourth quarter action here between the Marion Wildcats and the Benton Rangers. Benton with the 41-28 lead here as we start play in the fourth quarter. Marion's going to be have to fire, has to score some points as they need to get back in this game. Shadowen has it toward the left wing, backs it outside the three-point line, drives the left baseline. He throws it up at the rim, gets the whistle, and the foul will go the line and shoot two. Now a little bit of an acting job by Shadowen, but I think he realizes that time is not on Marion's side and he's a very good player as long as he doesn't try to do too much in this fourth. Marion still has an opportunity to come back and get in this ball game. Shadowen's uh, first free throw off the back of the iron no good. It is Oscar week. Still. Yes it is. So I mean um, so far we'll give that we can give that to him. 
Second free throw is good. 41-29. Rangers with the lead. That is Oxford with the ball right side to Austin Will. Now back to Timmy Henson. Henson, top of the circle, right side, Hamilton Page toward the right wing. Drops it down low for the cutting. Parker goes out of bounds. They're going to say it's off of Connor, Jackson Connor. It's going to belong to the Rangers. And with, it, with this lead that Benton has and their good ball handling, it's really going to be tough for Marion to create turnovers. Henson gets it to uh, Oxford. He just throws it up toward the rim. I don't know if it was a lob pass or if it was a shot. Goes out of bounds, and they're going to say yeah. it's going to belong to the Marion Wildcats. Because they're so good at shooting the ball, I'm going to have to guess that was a pass. So I'm going to give them a turnover. I on will. It. That's, that's five here yeah. in the second half. 7 11 on the clock, 41 29. Wildcat basketball. Shadowing drives to the right side. Whistle, and then what? I didn't see what the official said. I don't know what he's going to call unless it was an illegal pick or Shad Owens was pushing off. You know, they're going to call it on Connor Jackson. A pick. Or Jackson Connor. Well, I tell you what, I, I get that name mixed up so many times. I know. Either way, the it's name's so good they give you two first names. I know. <laughs> Oxford has it. Behind the back dribble across the timeline, 41 29. Vincent basketball, Parker Williams out top. He's picked up defensively by Jackson Connor. Scott Hudson. Yes. <laughs> Hudson Scott. I'll just, I'll just call him number 10 the rest of the game. <laughs> Austin Wills drives his shot. is blocked by Jackson Connor. From behind, he goes out of bounds. It's going to remain with the Benton Rangers. Now, I should know his dad was a very, very good athlete at Notre Dame. You know they're the Fighting Irish. Yes. Okay. Austin Wills fires from three. Wow. Boom for Austin Wills. I'm going to need a calculator to yeah. figure up his point total here for the night. 44 to 29. That's the bottom line. 6.30 remaining. Nick Williams with the basketball. Steps inside the three-point line. Fires off the front of the iron. No good. Timmy Henson with the rebound for the Rangers. 6.18 on the fourth quarter clock. Parker Williams has it. Jackson Connor all over the top of him. And we got a whistle and a foul on Jackson Connor. That last three hit by Wills was only Benton's second three of this second half. Only. Only, yeah. I mean, you look at what they did in the first half with, I think, nine. Of course, they've had, they've had the ball. They've had the lead. They've been able to run some clock. Benton basketball. Derek Oxford. Hands it off. Austin Wills. Leaves it for Hamilton Page. Page, top of the circle, works it right side, Austin Wills. Picked up by Shadowins defensively. Austin Wills brings it back to Timmy Henson. Top of the key. 5.47 remaining in the ball game. Patience being shown by the Benton Rangers. They, they don't have to shoot. They can take their time, and they're looking for that cut, that open cut toward the bucket, trying to get the layup. And uh, they'll just keep passing around the outside. As you said earlier, we have a whistle and a foul on Shadow. And uh, that's going to be his third. That is the sixth team foul um, on the Wildcats. You can't do that, says the student section from the Benton Rangers. And we have a timeout. David Brown getting on the officials at midcourt. He's pulled away by one of his assistants. And it's a full timeout that is called. 44 to 29, 532 left in the ball game. We'll be back in just a moment.
Back at this uh, semifinal game, 44 to 29, the Benton Rangers lead the Marion Wildcats, Scott Hudson. Benton can be patient all night long now. Such good ball handlers. All five of the players on the floor can handle the ball. Marion's got to start fouling and hoping Benton misses some free throws. As uh, Benton works it down to Timmy Henson, he's fouled from behind. And we'll go to the line and shoot two. Timmy Henson <laughs> has 12 rebounds on the night. The foul is on number four, Nick Williams of the Marion Wildcats. Henson is at the line. He's going to shoot two. First one is good. He's only got four points in this game. But, man, he has been everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere for these Benton Rangers. 45-29. to 29. Henson has the second free throw coming to him. Thank you for tuning in here on our YouTube channel. Second one is good by Henson. Scott and I will have the finals game coming up Friday night. It'll be the Carbondale Terriers, which is the number one seed in the bracket. We're assuming it will be the Benton Rangers. Unless a miracle happens for the Marion Wildcats. Nick Williams fires from three wide open. His first points of the game. 32 for the Wildcats. 46 for the Rangers. 14 point lead with five minutes left in this game. Dave Brown claps his hands. Come on, boys. Pick it up. Pick it up. And uh, they do. They get the turnover on uh, the uh, Rangers. Quickly into the front court. Shadowens loses the handle. That's a turnover. The seventh on the Rangers. It's Derek Wynn with it across the timeline. Right hand dribble slows it down. 440 left. 46-32 to Derek Oxford. Left side brings it across the free throw lane. Hands off to Austin Wills. Wills works it across the lane. His little floater, way short, goes out of bounds. That's that's not what you want if you're the Benton Rangers. Well, 426 to go in the game, and that is probably Benton's worst shot of the night. It is. Seriously, that, that is the worst shot of the night. But it took them to almost, you know, the game almost being over before they did it. Marion Wildcats basketball. Nick Williams left side to shadowing. He just fires from three and out. No good. Jackson Connor goes up high with the rebound. His putback's able to get it home. His first bucket here in the fourth quarter. It's a 12 point lead now. 4.05 remaining. In the front court for the Rangers, Cade Thomas hands it off to Derek Oxford. Oxford works it to the right side to Gary Gwynn. And we have a whistle and a foul is going to be on Nick Williams. That's his third, the eighth team foul. So Gary Gwynn, who I love that name, Gary. Marion cannot guard the perimeter man to man. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to trap double team at some point. Garen Gwynn misses the first on the one and one. Nick Williams takes it to the rack, gets the bucket and the foul. And they're under, they can get within 10 here with 341 left. Now they can, if he makes his free throw, it'll be a nine point Benton lead. And I guess the big question, now that the momentum's kind of shifted to Marion, do they have enough gas left in the tank to, uh, to pull this possible upset off. Kane Thomas of Benton is charged with the foul. Williams, the free throw, gets the shooter's touch. And um, he's got six points all here in this fourth quarter. It is 46-37, a nine-point lead now. Plenty of time for the Marion Wildcats if they can get some stops. Cade Thomas in the backcourt, breaks the timeline, out of control, leaves it down low. Timmy Henson shot is blocked by Jackson Connor, and he is going to go to the line and shoot some free throws. Thomas, not a very big player, but I'll tell you what, he's got a little bit of speed to him. He's only 5'9", yep. but he got into the front court, broke the pressure. And, Tip. and found uh, Henson wide open. And he left uh, four defenders behind him. Yeah. <laughs> He's quick. So checking out for uh, Marion is Justin Sidoris. 
Hanson missed the first free throw. The second one is on the way, and it's good. Three free throws for Hinson here in this fourth quarter. 47-37, a 10-point game. We have a jump ball on the tie-up, and the possession arrow belongs to the boys in white. And Marion, another turnover. Williams trying to do too much against the double team. Benton breaks the press. They work it right side. Hand off to Austin Wills. They bring it to Timmy Henson. 3-0-9 remaining in the contest. Friday night at 7 o'clock is the championship game here at Carterville High School. We want to say thank you to Brett Dial, Todd Rogers. Fine job hosting this regional tournament. Love this facility. It's our home facility. And uh, we love our view here. And uh, they've done a nice job. And uh, looking forward to Friday night's championship game. We'll have the YouTube live broadcast of that and so you can watch and listen coming up on Friday night. Carbondale, the number one seed, will play the winner here. It could be a four or a five seed. The Rangers with the four. The Wildcats with the five if they can score some points here in the final two and a half minutes. Marion not trapping. Marion not fouling. Just letting Benton run, run the time offense. off the clock. And I don't understand. They will do that all day long. Henson just cuts it through the lane, kicks it back out. That's Derek Oxford on the right wing. No foul, no foul. Finally, Shadowen comes in. He fouls, but it's not called. The ball's thrown. Tipped in the backboard, and Jackson Connor is uh, charged with. That's his fifth. Jackson Connor, his fifth. He checks out. Tim team foul. So it's going to be Gary Gwynn at the line. He's shooting two. Thank you for tuning in here on our YouTube channel. Truly appreciate it. That's why we do it. We knew you that people would want to watch. They couldn't make it to the game as Gary Gwynn gets the first free throw. He's got five points in the game. Second one is on the way. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Again, uh, Dave, I don't understand Marion's philosophy on defense. You're down 10, you still got a chance, and you're not trapping, fouling, or anything. 49-37, nice layup move by uh, Justin Sidoris for the Rangers. 49-39, a 10-point lead, and uh, Shadowen is called with the foul in the backcourt, his fourth. And so Garrett Gwynn is going to go to the line and shoot two free throws. Yep. Uh, Benton ran too much time off the clock when they Marion was only down by 10. To uh, I just I really don't have an explanation for why that is. Marion players weren't even getting up in the face of the ball handlers, and I, I don't I I have no explanation. First one from Gary Gwynn is good, or I guess he made both of them. No, he made one. He made, he made the second one. Second now. one. Marion basketball, shot no good. Rebound comes off to Derek Oxford. I think that pretty well can ice it for the Rangers. The 12-point uh, lead, excuse me, 11-point lead. Foul in the backcourt. That's going to be on Justin Sidoris. 50 to 39. Fans starting to get up on the Marion side and head toward the exit. These 7 o'clock games, that's a nice start time. It is, especially when you don't have to worry about a, a JV game beforehand, maybe running a little long. It's true. And at our age, we need double sleep we can get. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's nap time. 52-39. <laughs> Wildcat basketball, Shadow and fires from three, buries it. He's got uh, 13 for the Wildcats. Timeout is called. 52-42. And once again, we just want to say thank you for watching. We appreciate that. Friday night, the championship game. It appears that the Terriers will take on the Rangers. What a battle that will be. Two different styles. 
You've got Acre and Bean for Carbondale that can dominate just about anybody in Southern Illinois when they're on their game. They scored, those two scored 50 of the 57 points that the Terriers scored last night against Carterville. They're impressive. And Benton, or excuse me, Carbondale has the speed and quickness to stay up with the Benton, but it's going to be, can they come out and defend the Benton three, and can Benton keep Acre and Bean off the boards? I, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great matchup of two competitors contrasting styles so we have a minute and a half remaining here a 10 point Ranger lead Ranger basketball they get it into Gehrig win get the trap on the far side the ball is uh, tipped out of bounds and the official says it's going to belong to the Rangers so we are going to see the Benton Rangers run their record to 29 and 2 on the season outlet pass to Austin Wills he backs it up Double team there, cuts it, gets it to Garen Gwynn. He's fouled. He's fouled by Jacob Schmidt. That's his third. And Garen Gwynn is going to go to the line once again for the Benton Rangers. But, Car but the Benton Rangers, 29 and 2 on the season, number six in Class 3A as Gwynn hits the first free throw. He's got six points here in the fourth quarter, all on free throws, nine for the game. Second one is good. That's how you ice a game, Scott Hudson. Make free throws. Shadowen fires from three off the back of the iron. Big rebound on the floor. Who's going to come away with it? It's going to be Timmy Hansen, of course. Who else? Who else? For the Rangers. He's got 600 rebounds in tonight's game. Well, let's see. He's got five, six, 13. They're almost 600. That's It's close. Fouls on number 41. That's uh, Cole Schaefer, his first. And Timmy Henson is going to go to the line and shoot two free throws as uh, the Rangers are in the double bonus. Rangers have only given up four fouls in this second half. Henson hits the second, or hits the first, rather. He has seven points in the game. One, three, and four free throws. By my calculations, Benton only has one field goal. They've only attempted two field goals in this fourth quarter. One went in, and that was a three. And they haven't had to shoot. As nope. Shadowen fires from three, no good. Rebound again by Henson. Under a minute to go. The Benton Rangers with the basketball. Marion is done. They're putting no pressure. The Benton Rangers fans on the right sideline stand up and applaud their Benton Rangers. Coach Ron Miller and the number six Rangers will play for the regional championship on Friday night against the Carbondale Terriers. What a matchup that's going to be. Game time is set for 7 o'clock, and um, we will have the pregame broadcast starting about 10 till 7 on Friday. We invite you to tune in. Join uh, myself and Scott on Friday night. 56 to 42 is going to be the final here this evening. What a good ball game for the Benton Rangers. And Coach Ron Weinmiller, as uh, the game is four seconds from going final, that is it. 56 to 42. Give us just a couple of minutes and we'll tally up the stats and uh, we will have those for you in just moments. Thank you for listening here on our YouTube channel.
It's a final here at the uh, Carterville Regional, the uh, semi-final game as the uh, Benton Rangers just knock off the Marion Wildcats 56 to 42 here this evening. The Benton Rangers, Scott Hudson, look very impressive. They're going to go on and take on the number one uh, seed in the regional, and that is going to that. And just as we sit here and think about it, that's going to be a dandy game. The the speed game of the Carbondale Terriers, Anthony or Darius Bean and uh, uh, Cree, and then they take it right down the the paint to the outside shooting compared to the Benton Rangers. That's going to be that's just going to be a dandy ball game. Benton played a, a bigger team tonight in Marion but they played like they were the bigger team. Now a little bit different animal come Friday night with Acre and Bean's uh, leaping ability and some of the other Carbondale players but it should be a very good game. I, I'll be interested to see how Carbondale defends Benton on the perimeter. That's been the bread and butter of Benton Ranger basketball all year long but Benton came in here tonight and from the very start they were the better team. They were Offensively, the defensively hustling rebounding they they did everything better than Marion tonight and that's why they won the game let's run through our stats I'll run through the scoring first for the Marion Wildcats it was Justin Shadow in the leading scorer for uh, coach David Brown he winds up with 13 in the game Nick Williams has six Jackson Connor has 10 he fouled out of the game with about three minutes left Justin uh, Sidoris has four Terrell uh, Jacks Henderson rather has six points, and Justin Johnson scores three for the Marion Wildcats, putting 42 points on the board. Let's talk about the Marion Wildcats. Well, Marion Wildcats, actually, this is going to shock some people. They actually shot better from the field than Benton did. 39% for Marion, only 37% for Benton. But Benton had 11 threes, nine of those coming in the first half when they took control of this ball game. Uh, Benton out-rebounded Marion 28-22. Henson had 14 rebounds. Uh, Jackson Connor had 10 to lead Marion. 12 turnovers for Benton, 18 for Marion. Just a total, total team effort by Benton tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Austin Wills, the leading scorer, he pours in 17 tonight for the uh, Benton Rangers. And then you have Derek Oxford, who was hot the first half. It was Austin Wills the second half. Uh, Derek Oxford with 14 in the game. Timmy Henson winds up with 8. Uh, Hamilton Page with 2. Gary Gwynn with 11. Most of his coming at the free throw line. And then you have uh, Parker Williams with 4. 56 points. 56 to 42. The Benton Rangers get the win. They play for the regional championship on Friday night. Everybody that tuned in on our YouTube channel, once again, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We will have the championship game for you starting at about 6.50 or so Friday evening. Tip-off is slated for 7 o'clock. And uh, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your grandmas and grandpas to tune in. You can, If you've got a smart TV, you know you can watch it on there. You can pull it up. It's just like being the pros. It, it's just the pros. We're happy. We had, what, uh, 64, I think, people watching Live. and listening tonight. We appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, we enjoy, I mean, we enjoy doing sports, Carnival sports to begin with. But now we're doing... We're doing other games, seeing other teams we normally don't see throughout the year. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and we enjoy it. And I can't wait for Friday night. It, that's going to be a dandy. So tune in. We'll uh, post the link for the game probably tomorrow sometime. And uh, so be looking for that on our Facebook, our Twitter accounts. And uh, on uh, you can go to CarterbilleLionAthletics.org and find the link right there and uh, get that set up for Friday night. For Scott Hudson, I'm Dave McKenzie. Thank you for tuning in. Benton Rangers a win, 56-42 over the Marion Wildcats. They play for the championship Friday night.